Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic and the Season of Mastery. We are down here in Render's Valley still, cleaning up the remnants of the Black Rock Outrunners. We still need three more axes, and it's been a really slow drop rate. But let's see if we can get back into things here. What I thought was an empty camp with a tailoring supply specialist in it is actually a camp of Black Rock Grunts and Outrunners. Uh, we're not going to take any of them on because, well, it's going to come as a two-pull. And I'm not convinced that we can handle another two-pull without a potion. Because a potion is what it took to survive the last two-pull that we had on these guys. Coming out of defensive stance would help. Uh, I have to prioritize the Briar Thorn right now because uh, we really need it for continuing to level up our alchemy. And it's not very commonplace, so if I don't grab it when I see it, we're not going to make a lot of headway with alchemy. Yeah, so we need that and we need Mage Royal for our Elixir of Wisdom. Uh, which is kind of the thing that we're doing right now to, to get skill ups. I have to visit the alchemy trainer and see if maybe we can learn any other recipes. Maybe something that we can make with uh, more readily available materials, but until then, it's the elixir of, of wisdom is uh, what we have to work with. When you have to farm areas like this, you just naturally kind of develop a route for yourself. Even if you don't set out to develop a route, you end up developing a route that you run around the area uh, to the places where you know there are enemies, to the places where you know that they are safe. And we definitely have been running this route for a little while. But we are close, guys. We need, we need one more. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to have any part of what's happening. Not not in reality. Okay, they're all feared. Perfect. Uh, we can come in here and... <laughs> well, that would have been really smooth, wouldn't it have? <laughs> it would have been rude too, but... I, I am interested to know what's in the chest that's being guarded by uh, four of them. They're going to be back any second, though, so maybe we bring this a little bit more... Oh, well, that, that's as far as we're bringing it. Apparently. Okay, the good news is they don't hate us, and this guy did not get a chance to run at them. And the other good news, that's it. That's all the axes we need. Uh, yeah, literally jumping for joy that we can get out of here. Uh, what else can we do here? Anything else we can do on the way? I don't think so. Uh, we need a belly grub. We might be able to go into that area and get a quest. Or not a quest. Get a group to help us with belly grub. Usually there are people standing around there. It's orange now, so technically it's too high of a level for us. But we can do it. Blackrock Bounty. We're going to have to wait till that one is yellow or green. Those guys were like level 25. Yowler's Paw, I kind of feel like we have to fight our way back into that area. I'd also want to wait, and then we'd probably still need a group. 
And then Lieutenant Fangor, obviously way outside of our range right now. This is a quest to go into the stockades. And Rethban Ore is still orange. That honestly doesn't leave us a lot to do. Uh, strangely enough, you'd think with the zone hopping that we've done, uh, we would have a lot to do. Maybe we need to revisit Lachmodan and see if any more quests popped up there for us. We also have these two elite quests that we can find groups for. Because, yeah, ideally we would gain at least one or two more levels before we take on any of the other stuff here in Red Ridge. So we, we are going to have to go somewhere else pretty soon. Unless we get back to town and there are a bunch of quests for us to do and trying to think about stuff we do here in Red Ridge, I, I can't think of any other low-level stuff that we haven't done yet. I know there are some Knoll quests for us that happen out here to the northeast. But I'm pretty sure those guys are level 25 to 28. Uh, now I could be wrong about that, but they are going to be a higher level than we are now. I'm going to cut right across here, come up along the far western side of Lakeshire, and see if we can find people who are standing about waiting for Belly Grub. I feel like there are definitely some different Knoll types that we haven't been asked to kill yet that they could ask us to go out and kill, like Thrashers. We haven't ha had a quest for Thrashers. Uh, we had some other guys to the north. I want this Mage Royal, but let's be smart about this. And we'll back it up a little bit. And we'll wait for the patrol to pass. Uh, we actually need to be going this way. So let's just cut right through their camp. Uh, they're a little bit lower level than us, so they don't really mind too much. And we'll go up here. And someone just took the Briar Thorn. Yep, we see you, Tootsie Roll. My favorite candy, by the way, just so you know. Uh, yeah, stole our herb there, though. Not very sweet of you. And yeah, here's Belly Grub. <laughs> uh, now, ideally, we would not be doing this alone. Ideally. Not, not at level 21, at least. Would probably be easier if uh, we had a group. It's like, yeah, but are you in the area? Because this thing's gonna respawn any minute.
Uh, one thing I will say, guys, because it's, it's pertinent to right now, is that if you try to message me in-game, there's like an 80% chance that I won't see it. Usually the only time I'm really paying attention to my chat box is if I'm looking for a group of people. The best way to shoot me a message is to join the Discord and just shoot me a message over Discord. And the Discord link is in the description of the video. So yeah, I mean, I I have played solo in WoW for hundreds and hundreds of hours, and I just don't often look. Even when I'm in a party, I have a hard time reminding myself to look down at the chat box. It's basically a dead zone to me. Uh, I just kind of want to fight stuff because we're not really doing anything else. And yeah, I think I'm going to edit some of this out. We'll see uh, how long it takes for this to respawn. Probably as soon as I cut the video, then it'll, it'll spawn and we'll have to cut back in. It did take a few minutes. It wasn't immediate. But it wasn't very long either. Really kind of hoping we could put some more DPS into it. Oh good, we gotta heal. It's like, yeah, we either need to, to heal or just put a bunch more DPS into this thing because it is not going down without a fight. And there we go. We got the item we needed for the quest. That's the important part. We, we won't assume anything. Alright, and uh, let's see. Mage Royal, we need that. So let's go ahead and we'll just drop group here. Go get our Mage Royal, and then we'll head back and turn these two in. And sell everything in our inventory that we don't need. And then maybe buy an 8 slot bag. I mean, we have 3 gold. I'd love to, like, not spend money. I think we have a couple of levels of skills we have to buy, though. Uh, so that's gonna have to happen pretty soon. I'm probably gonna go back to Stormwind before we do anything else. Uh, let's take our, no our second point in Deep Wounds there. Hello. Have a good one. 27... 100 experience, not bad. And the Battle Worn Axe is, I think, one of the guards down here by the flight path. Oh no, nope, it's a guard over here. Not a guard, Marshal Maris. A little bit higher rank than a guard. Just a little bit. King's honor, friend. Feral Zoon. Blackrock Outrunners and Renegades are running ambushes between here and Stonewatch Keep. The leader of the Outrunners is an orc named Feral Zoon. We want this orc. Bring me the head of Feral Zoon. Ah, oh, we would get a pretty decent shield that has spirit on it. Or a two-handed mace, and we need a two-handed mace. Not only because it's better than the sword we have, but because we have not used a two-handed mace yet, even though we have the skill for it. We need to start leveling that up. But I bet this is going to be like a red level quest. It's an elite orange quest uh, that I think... I think we're going to have other quests to do in the area. Light be with you. Shadow magic. The Blackrock Orcs enlisted Shadowcasters to aid their attacks in Red Ridge, and they have brought with them devices of dark power, Midnight Orbs. These orbs have struck telling blows against Red Ridge's defenders, and it's imperative we remove the demon-tainted items from the conflict. Find and deliver to me Midnight Orbs from slain Blackrock Shadowcasters. Three Midnight Orbs. Light bless you. Yeah, see, these are all orange. We, yeah, we gotta go find other stuff to do. Uh, I think we need to head back to Lock Modan, and if we take out these two elite quests, maybe that gets us level 22. Uh, but, like, I'm just hoping there's more. 
There's gotta be some more quests somewhere. That being said, the first thing we have to do is we gotta head back to Stormwind. And I need to learn whatever skills I can from, I think, level 18 and level 20 now. So I haven't been as diligent as one should be, especially as a warrior, uh, at learning our new abilities every time we can. So yeah, I'm going to take care of that, and then I will get us over uh, to Thelsimar, and we will continue from there. I think we're going to tackle those elite quests, assuming we can find a group, right? Which I'm assuming we will be able to just find, but you never know. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to find out, so I'll see you guys up in Thelsimar. Alright, we are in flight to Thelsimar. And for the abilities we learned, we learned Cleave, we learned, uh, I believe, another rank, yep, rank 3 of Rend. And we also learned how to dual wield. Now, uh, that being said, we're probably not going to be dual wielding. Uh, but we can do it now if we so choose. But yeah, we got Cleave, and that was pretty big. And I think that was about it. And then I visited the alchemy trainer, and thankfully we are now able to make the regular strength healing potions. These use leaded vials, so uh, the newer vials. And they also use briar thorn and bruiseweed. We have quite a bit of bruiseweed built up. Almost a stack. Uh, we still obviously are low on briar thorn, but this is great. This lets us make a healing potion that can heal 280 to 360. So it could potentially uh, hit for half of our health. That's pretty amazing, and we're going to make those as soon as we land. Also did some work on the inventory to get that cleaned up a little bit, so now we do have a little bit more space. Uh, I am going to get rid of the fishing pole and the cooking stuff, because uh, we're not going to be working on those this playthrough. That's confirmed. Not going to be happening. Uh, we're going to save them for a later playthrough, potentially uh, maybe some time when they make a little bit more sense. Uh, and in this playthrough, we obviously we're focusing on just leveling up and our main professions. I don't really seem to have the time to work on cooking and fishing, so... Right now, all it is is stuff that is staying in our inventory and kind of causing problems for us. Uh, right away here, let's... see if we can find a group. Well, if we could make everything consistent, there we go. And let's go ahead and we'll move our new potions out to our hotbar. Let's go ahead and just head up into the mountains here, figure out how we can get to this lair. And then we'll kind of worry about uh, getting a group once we're out here. There are definitely people on, uh, at the level where uh, they could help, potentially they need the quest, maybe they don't. Uh, it really depends. There's probably like one specific way in, I've never done this quest that I recall. I've been trying to think of where else we can go to quest. And, I mean, we could try to go to Darkshore, but... I 
feel like we would miss out on a lot of the introductory stuff there. And I don't really know how we could just kind of make our way there without doing all that introduction stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Hello there. We are clearly here for the same reason, because who would climb this hill if not to do this? And who else do we got? Okay, so another warrior and a paladin. I feel like that should be sufficient. Uh, he's a little ways away, so we will hang out and wait for him. And since this has been the episode of Cuts anyway, let's go ahead and I'll cut out some time here so you guys don't have to watch me wait. Alright, it looks like we are ready to go. I think putting some debuffs on him is going to help a little bit, so we'll do a thunderclap. Keep our bleed going. Double, double rend, yeah. That's good. And there we go. There's one elite quest completed. Very well done. And now I say we just head out uh, to where we know the elite quest is. And maybe we can find a group that's forming out there. Maybe we can look in the chat again. But yeah, we'll head out uh, that way and see what we can put together. But I really do need to think about where else we could go, because uh, if this keeps up... Well, we're going to run out of stuff to do, weirdly enough. I never thought in the season where we're getting 40% uh, bonus experience that we would run out of things to do that we're at level. Uh, we can't go to Duskwood yet. We could do shadow magic, but that's another elite quest. Uh, if we have to do that, we will. Go to the stockade. That's a dungeon quest. And yeah, that is pretty much all we have. Well, I kind of wanted to bypass these islands, uh, because I, I don't want to fight a bunch of crocolisks, but we're just gonna leg it across the land here and hope that he drops. And then we'll do the long swim across the middle of the lake. So we potentially have a group for the Elite Ogre quest, but uh, some of them, one of them is very far away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here to the dam, and I'm going to see if there are any quests up here. Uh, it's one of the places in the zone that we haven't been, and I just want to go investigate. I have no recollection of picking up any quests up here, uh, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. And since we apparently have a minute before we actually are ready to tackle the Elite Ogres, I thought we could come up here and have a little look. It's a really cool place anyway, and it's a shame that we uh, don't get sent here uh, more often. Because yeah, it just looks really freaking cool. Like, look at that. that that's a really awesome view. I love it. There are people running around up here. Uh, that tells me maybe there's something going on. Uh, don't know what, though. Definitely a bunch of dwarves. Oh, look at this. Hey there. Chief Engineer Hinderweir, the, the seventh... A dark threat looms. Thank the stars. Someone is concerned about the well-being of the dam. 
First, the destruction of the Thandal Span, and then the pillaging of Dunmortar. I have no doubt that the dam will be the next target of the Dark Iron. Most of the security detail here was reassigned to the Alliance Front, including my top inspector. That's why I need you. I spotted some Dark Iron sappers milling about the eastern ramps of the dam. Investigate the area and bring back a clue. Dark Iron sappers milling about the eastern ramps of the dam. The eastern ramps, uh, weren't we just over at the eastern ramps? I think I have my directions right. Didn't see any dark iron over there, but we will give it another look. Oh, look at this! It's green! It's green. Yeah, that's... And you know what the great thing is? Like, there wasn't a breadcrumb that we got to go up here. Maybe somewhere does give you a breadcrumb, but we didn't have one. Alright, so yeah, there are definitely dark iron here. Investigate the area and bring back a clue. I wonder if that means, like, kill some of them and bring back an item. Or if it literally means find an item on the ground. Kinda hoping that it means kill these guys. Oh no, it doesn't. It's literally telling us to come back here. It looks like they are getting ready to be down there. I'm gonna, ru I'm gonna grab this item. And then we're going to run down and join them. A suspicious looking barrel containing a strange smelling powder. You take a sample of the strange smelling powder and return it to the engineer. Yeah, we'll do that later. Uh, but we are going to come down here and meet up with these guys. It looks like they're on the way. I feel like... Yeah. I feel like we can just run up here and do this really quick. Just to get the follow-up because uh, the follow-up is definitely going to take place somewhere else. Yeah, we've got a minute till they get there. We'll get there at about the same time, I think. I did wait a long time for this person to, like, get into the area, so uh, if they can wait for us for a couple minutes. If they don't want to wait, they don't have to. Uh, but I'm going to run up here and do the little fetch quest part and run back. And yeah, I'm really glad that I came up here. It makes perfect sense that there'd be a green quest. It has always felt like we were missing quests somewhere. And at least now we found one of them. What's on your mind? With you. uh, we will read that later on. I am going to get moving here. This wants us to take the strange powder to Ashlyn Stone Smirk, the explosives expert in Dun Motor. Travel through the Algaz Gate. Follow the road through the wetlands. Uh, I need to investigate that a little bit. I don't know... I don't know what path it's talking about. The Algaz Gate. I mean, we can get... Oh, okay. No, I have no idea. So we need to get into the wetlands. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll figure that out later. Uh, here we go. Hopefully these guys are ready. They've been waiting on us now. Let's not keep them waiting anymore. No idea what we're supposed to do for this one. Uh, just kill 12 of them. That should be relatively straightforward. Ogres, Brutes, and Enforcers. Uh, we don't need Shaman, but Shamans seem to be the most prevalent. I'm gonna grab my Briar Thorn here because we need it for our new potions.
Would have thought maybe we'd grab a couple more people for this, but there, there don't seem to be too many people online right now doing this quest, so... Uh, maybe we're going into the burrow back here. Okay, seems pretty farmed out <laughs> so far. Uh, I see mystics. I haven't seen ogres, brutes, or enforcers, so that's a little bit worrisome. Uh, and yeah, just completely... Completely farmed out, maybe? This is good. This is giving me some really bad flashbacks to Final Fantasy XI. Like, let's just all stand here, and then someone can go pull. And we'll just wait for them to come back. That's how we're doing it, right? Yeah, I don't really... This is not what I want to do, and I, and I don't even know why we would do this. Are we waiting for a specific enemy in the chance that we can tag it faster than everybody else? Is that what's going on? Because I don't have a quest for that. The weird thing is, like, only one of us... Only one other person in this group has the mercenaries quest, which means one of these people is on the follow-up, which is probably for this named person, but that's not really what I'm here for. And that's a little bit annoying. Because yeah, as far as I can tell, there's nothing back here that we need. There's some brutes, there's one brute back here, okay? That's a single brute. The rest have been mystics. And yeah, I really don't know why we're just hanging out in the back room. And if there is a good reason for it, uh, then communication would be clutch. Yeah, like, I don't know who to go on here. Uh, yeah, sheep? Or sap? Okay. Well, that's one out of twelve down. <laughs> Just a million more to go. Whatever these people were waiting on back here must have spawned and been defeated because they have uh, run out. Okay, so this is the room where a couple of brutes spawn, okay? Great, so they were waiting on this and they were waiting on Chalk Soul. We don't have a quest for Chalk Soul. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe there's a wanted poster uh, that we didn't grab. That's all I can really think of. Oh, look at that. A wanted poster. That would have made sense. Uh, now it makes sense why they were standing back here. That being said, waiting on this uh, is not really something that I planned into my time budget <laughs> for doing this quest. I was like, we'll get this done in under a half hour. It'll be easy. It's just an elite kill quest. No big deal. And now we're going to be waiting on this one guy to respawn uh, in the hope that we can tag it over everyone else here. That's going to be interesting. Alright, that took quite a little bit of time, um, actually. But we are back. We have a full group, which should hopefully make this possible. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We are focusing who? Let's focus this one. Let's pick one to focus. And let's focus that one down. Uh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, we're gonna pop a potion here just to have that done. We need to get this one down. Uh, 
Uh, nope, did not mean to loot there. That was not what we wanted to do. Uh, that was a good heal. Who was able to heal us? Oh, thank God, we have a priest. All right, well, at least we got Choke Soul's head. Uh, I don't know, maybe the priest can res our buddy here. So that's done. Uh, it doesn't leave us anywhere with the rest of the ogres and the enforcers, but we did get a couple of brutes out of that. Uh, I'm not sure who pulled what here. Uh, we do need to get back to our group. That would be a great idea. Maybe use some line of sight here. Uh, some more line of sight would be good if we can just stop that caster from ever hitting us. I would be really happy about that. Uh, we are not looking like we're in the best of shape here. As far as getting these guys under control. Here we go. That's going to help a little bit. Uh, we have about 15 more seconds. If we can survive that long, we can get another potion up on ourselves. Uh, we're losing people though. Four seconds. Three, two, come on. Okay, we got it. We got the potion in. And we got the sheep back up. Let's go ahead and bandage. Get back up to full health here. Or at least close to it. Uh, and yeah. Just hammering away with those spells, though, is going to kill us pretty quickly. We need to get some more damage on him, like, ASAP. Big damage on the Mystic, guys. There we go. Okay. Well, as fun as that was... We are running out of food to eat. There we go. Alright, maybe we should see about getting out of the cave. Maybe that's what we should do. Definitely some ogres that we could take on out here. Uh, but we could really stand to use some more help. That being said, I am playing with limited time right now. I didn't anticipate that this would take so long, so I want to get a few of these guys in, even if I'm not going to be able to complete the quest now. I want to get as many in as we can and kind of help out as much as we can, but from how long it took to wait for that guy to respawn, I am probably going to have to potentially end this without completing it uh, and come back to it later, which is going to suck, but it might happen that way. Potions are really helping us out a lot. Really happy to see that. We'll see if we can get these guys down by about 3.30. I think I can push it till about 3.30. And then whatever we have, we have. And I'll have to get the rest later. Alright, I see another ogre over here. Let's peel this way. Do want to get a quick... Ah, uh, that was not... Uh, not my intended bandaging target. Believe it or not. 
sure he was happy to get a pointless bandage though. go I saw one of them oh no 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 uh, hey it might be okay we might have only pulled one extra so maybe if I can outrange him maybe that would help just kind of prevent him from getting damage off for a little while uh, while they work on the other one we can pop a potion if we need to Uh, not sure we're not really getting any help here from one of our guys. Not really sure what the deal is about that. Uh, but that might end us. If we die here, I will have to, uh, come back for this. And it looks like there's a high probability of death, uh, incoming here momentarily. We don't have any kind of, like, way to stun. Even if I could interrupt, we would be in better shape. Uh, maybe next time he cast, we could try to get a get a bandage going like maybe if we do this yeah that was not ideal and it did eat up some of our time here we need one more ogre and two more enforcers I see a respawn this way but we're gonna have to go pretty quick once we get our friend here back up All right, uh, he's not taking the res. That is unfortunate. Yeah, we could have probably could have probably done it even with that setback if he'd have just got just got resed really quickly. Uh, but he's running. Actually, he's stopped in the middle of the lock. So uh, there is that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this enforcer, and then we'll just have to see. Maybe our buddy will feel bad about his failure as a healer a moment ago and choose to keep us alive. That could happen. Do we have the DPS to do this uh, without some help? Maybe not. Not in a timely fashion, at least. Okay, we do have kneecaps back. He's back. Good show. Uh, we need one more ogre up here. We can get him. As you can tell, I really wanted to complete this uh, within my time window, which would have been really easy had I not been blindsided by the wanted poster quest. You know, if I had been smart and picked it up earlier and knew about it, or if they had seen in their quest log that I didn't have it and shared it with me, then that would have told me what we were doing, and I could have reformed some of uh, some of my thoughts about how long this might take. We need... need one enforcer and yeah let's get it let's find it of course this is the one that's going to take forever to find right let me guess there's only shaman in here uh yeah nothing nothing in here yet And anything this way is probably going to be dead. Uh, because players coming in will have just killed it. Alright, he's found one out here. We're pushing it. We're pushing it with my time limit. But I, I think we're going to get it. Yeah, he's bringing him back. Speaking of Final Fantasy XI, he went out to get an ogre and then he pulled him back to the group. <laughs> it's always a good time. Alright, that is perfect. That is awesome. Gotta thank these guys. 
that is all that we are going to do for now, guys. I think that I am actually going to hearth myself out of here just to get back to an inn. And yeah, then we will turn this in next time. And that's two, two elite quests. Let's take a look. Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff complete. Yeah, it looks like essentially, like, we've got a lot of stuff complete in Lakmodan. So yeah, we'll turn that all in next time, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate all the continued support on the series. Hope you guys are having fun with your own playthroughs, and I would love to hear from you guys in Discord if you want to get a hold of me. That's where I'll be most of the time. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth again really soon. Bye now.